I'll just briefly briefly go through these characters again for anybody that's joining, uh, as I will chop this live stream up and send it over to YouTube here. But uh, starting off my DPS, going with that uh, storm damage bow I just really like, and mainly carnival gear, not fully upgraded any of it. Uh, the monk is going to be uh, a boost monk, however I am rolling with purge evil and lightning strikes Zara. Now the lightning strikes are I may end up taking out. We'll uh, we'll see. Standard issue wall squire, and then my abyss lord. Trying to focus on archer damage. Still got uh, still need some upgrades, but doing all right. So let's see what to do. What to do next? I tell you what is a fun one. Temple of the Necrotic here. Nightmare 4. Alright. Get a little temple rolling here. Okay, now he, on this one, I think I might go with uh, the Serenity instead of the Walls, as I don't, I'm not positive if I need the, the Wall Strength here. Yeah, I think I will do that when it comes time to throw down the Monk here, I'll... going to uh, do just kind of a this this build is actually it's following the same uh, kind of the, the same thought that I did with every other build I did on this map and that was basically sacrificing the holy artifact and just uh, creating a massive choke point right here and it's it's mildly effective let's see let's go ahead I don't remember which keys I got these assigned to. Yeah, it's F2. Now let's get... Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Serenity there. Alright. Now I gotta watch and make sure that I'm not eating up any unnecessary space. Let's see. One there goes all the way up and over. I want to make sure I'm getting good coverage here as uh, these archers are going to be hitting from pretty good range. So... So I basically got this little gap right here that's not uh, going to be using the Serenity R, and I might actually throw one in. You know what? Let me just throw one in here. That way I got full coverage of uh, Serenity in this entire area here. And then over here, how do we want to do it? I think I went like this right here. What kind of coverage we got here? Yeah, we got good coverage, so... Go like that there, and then like that there. And that's going to give me good coverage here. And, uh, you know, I have quite the little death area there. And let's see, let's go with some lightning strikes. I'm unsure as to how many I really need here. Let's go like that. And then we'll go like that. Now, uh, see how this is going to lead me for... Now, I'm going to throw one right here, I think, as well, just for anything that makes it all the way to the blockade there. So, all right, I got 930 left. That's uh, 31 archers if I chose to do it that way, which is that seems a little excessive. 
What am I missing? Eh, I don't think anything. Let's just go ahead and start slapping down some archers and see if we can't dual purpose some of these guys. As uh, the range on them is pretty good. So a lot of archers will shoot at both areas, which is kind of nice. Let's see. Let's get one there. And see, these archers are going to multitask just a little bit. Seems like I didn't put enough uh, enough meat inside here. Archers are 40 mana. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Appreciate it. One of these days, I'll learn how to do math. <laughs> so that's uh, not near as many archers as I had anticipated. So I got what? I've got 15, enough for 16 left. I'll have 10, 10 left over. Thank God you're here, Mama. If not, uh, what would I do? see 15 and we got this side pretty well covered right one two three four five six seven eight yeah we're doing pretty good there so let's head right over here this uh the abyss lord makes this map so much easier and it, i mean it was relatively easy before it was one of my normal farmers because uh it does drop item power 700 gear But you had to do, uh, well, you didn't have to, but I went with uh, Frosty Traps on previous builds. Let's see, we're going to go four there. I want to get this other side locked down before uh, I figure what else we want to do here. But, and I want to make sure I'm getting a little flyer coverage here. As I will probably kill all the flyers manually, but... I don't want anything sneaking by on me. All right, 290. That's seven more archers, so I gotta stretch seven across this whole way here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Two. Three. What do we got down this side? Well, let's go. Four. Three more right in here, but I do want to put one down below as a last resort. Let's see. Let's go like that. Put one here, and then that will leave me enough to get one laid right down here. I don't like, uh, with all of them up top, if something does make it to this blockade, I'm unsure of whether or not they're gonna... Well, actually, the side ones would hit it, no problem. The ones from that side, it looks like. But, anyway, I'm gonna roll with it anyway. So, a little premature, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my other Abyss Lords in the hero deck to hope uh, hope I improve my gear there a little bit. Alright, let's see. I feel like it's a little light on this side. One, two, three. I've got eight. Eight archers over here, but it just it seems kind of barren because I usually put a little bit more meat in here. I kind of like the blaze balloon right in this area. But rolling with the uh, the uh, lightning strikes today. So let's see how it does. I've actually never done this with lightning strikes. And I don't think there's any need to uh, popcorn machine this one. As this map. This is really, as far as uh, 
item power 700 gear. In my opinion, this is the new life route. It's uh, very easy to complete. <clears throat> Pardon me. Jesus. Ridiculous humidity today. Raining like a sumbitch. Alright, a holy artifact is going down. This, uh, this area here is my only worry, really. But I think all those archers will, will chew shit up. No problem. This, the archers add a, uh... A level of AFK ability. If um, if my walls were a little stronger, or my archers were a little stronger, one of the two, <clears throat> I could probably completely AFK this with this setup. As really with the frosty trap setup on this map, uh, you have to manually kill the flyers. You know, well of course the frosties help, but but you have to put some time in on the flyers. And with the archers, that's not really, that's really not really an issue. The uh, the spectral night incursion is uh, <clears throat> it's fun at first, but th there's really there's practically no challenge in it. Once you figure out the basics of the map, it's just easy mode. And uh, I did get the... I got a 750 item power sword. I haven't gotten a decent chest yet. I've gotten a bunch of the chests. I think the highest item power one I've gotten so far is like 730. But I just... The stats have been mismatched or something I just was not interested in. But I did get the uh, the 750 sword, which is kind of nice. It doesn't have ability power on it, though. It's got... Uh, where'd you guys go? There we go. Yeah, 750. Unupped. That's awesome. It's got hero crit damage, which is better than nothing. But I ideally, you want I ability power. I got a 745 one there. Alright, so let's see. I think, uh... Oh, I'm gonna jump in the green goo. <clears throat> and take a short nap. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I think I'm gonna up all of the blockades and then just focus on those archers pretty heavily. Quite a few... Quite a few ups available here. And with these archers kind of multitasking, the placement of these three right here is just awesome for shooting into uh, into this killing zone. And uh, of course clearing the field over here. Let's see I got five more ups left. I think I'll throw my last two over here, as this side is always a little sketchy. Definitely gotta watch that side. Alright. Now, I don't know what I want to do. I wanted to get the super bonus here uh, on the stream, so I'm gonna do five missions. But, um, some of these take a little while, so, obviously, uh the harbinger was the quickie so I knocked that one out first but I'm not real sure what else I want to do I might do uh, maybe a life root incursion see this will be number two and then we've got what I got Betsy I can knock out pretty easily 
and Betsy's relatively quick. The boss fight itself takes a little while. Life Root actually wanted to play around with a different strategy. Maybe I'll, uh... Maybe I won't even do all five. Who knows? Of course I'll do all five. <laughs> Depending on, uh... It resets again at 6 a.m. my time. That's, uh, Pacific Standard Time. So, I've got basically got until 6. Now, I'm not gonna live stream until 6, obviously. It's, uh, that would be a long night, and, uh, I actually am supposed to be at work tonight. Having some back issues, so I'm a little bit laid up. You don't have to see how much time, uh, time we got. Anyway, I got it gonna have to pick the wife up uh, in a couple of hours so I'll get as much done as I can over the couple of hours there and these uh, for some reason the flyers have been getting bugged on this this side here quite a bit I don't, don't really recall that happening in the past and I don't think it's happening on the PlayStation right now I'm pretty sure it's not Go ahead and get some ups on these bad boys because they are ticking away. All right, now what do I want to do? I'm thinking that I don't really need to mess with the blockades if I dump all of that into uh, archers instead. That may end up working out for me. I am going to up that one just because I'm always a little nervous about this side and with the soul stone being right there anything gets through there it's uh it's pretty well over Let's see 600 left let me just get the rest good lord second trip into the green goo within minutes <laughs> Let's get all these guys up. And I think everything is up now. Yeah, looking good. I'm going to do a video um, here real soon, within the next few days, talking about uh, weapons. So many people, um, every time I paste, post up a video of me using this weapon, I just get spammed comments of, where did I get that, where did I get that? And it's a standard issue, drops anywhere, typically crappy legendary blow. It just so happens this one has storm damage on it. And I've been using it, trying to, uh, trying to use it along with Drench. But, um, it does melt flyers. It makes killing flyers very, very easy. Now, I'd love to see, uh, a four per second spooky bow off this map. The pumpkin head bow. That's just too cool. And, uh, it's a little bit shotgunny, but I definitely like the pattern of it the bow that drops from this one. I got, uh, I've got a two per second version now. Yeah, everything is just getting chewed up. Archers are OP. Trendy said, uh, the new heroes, when they come out, they're gonna be on the OP side. And that they will balance it out later.
they they said that the reason they're doing that is to uh, get good balance of the heroes. But I, I just always wonder when a company does that. Are they doing that because they want you to buy it? That's the first thing that pops into mind. Now, I don't care if they are. <laughs> but I know a lot of people will be pissy if it stays this way. Because right now it's definitely not a uh, pay to win game. It's uh, pay for cosmetics. But you either had to grind out the defender medals to buy the uh, Abyss Lord or use gems, which everyone did that got it, you know, on the first weeks. Oop, that flyer's came alive now, but he just got chewed up. Now we got a Slakelly on here, so that'll give me some. Where you at? He's inside. That's not Sakelion. Well, Sakelion's way down the road still. Anyway, that's going to give me uh, a source of loot here, considering it's only wave 3. I'm going to get this bad boy. Every wave for the rest of the match. And that's pretty awesome. No fat loots so far. All right. Let's see. Now, I'm thinking just uh, juice up archers. I don't need... Now, the Auras on the other side are going to need some more attention. But that Aura there is just... I mean, it's completely there just to be a last resort. So I'm not overly worried about that one at all. Now, let's see... These two, or let's go ahead and go all four. These four pull in the double duty. I need to make sure I get some ups on them. Same thing with those. And then three left. Do I want to dump it into uh, Auras? What the hell? Get these Auras a little juicier. And uh, next wave, I'll come back over and attend to the, attend to the archers on that side. Slick Kelly on, I forgot about him already. He should just start getting pegged by that. Oh yeah, he's getting pegged now from the archers on the other side. Oh yeah. What's he got? Junk. But that's alright, because I need plenty of that to get some uh, some of my gear upped. And how we holding up over here. This uh, blockade here is always a little suspect too. Because the mobs don't have to go very far to uh, get into that path. But I tell you, with this whole area over here serenity serenitied up. That's hitting for... I don't know how much that's hitting for. I think 10,000, 12,000. Actually, it looks like... It's like maybe 14. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's hitting for 14,000. every time a mob dies, so that's that's a pretty significant amount of AoE added into the mix there. You know what, I don't think I'm going to do them all. After this m map, I think I will do Betsy and then uh, the Spectral Knight. The, uh, like I said, the Spectral Knight, it combines a little bit of, uh, very slightly, but uh, like a, it's got a little puzzle aspect to it. I'll get into it when we uh, start that map. But one thing's for sure, these guys hit the PS4, I am gonna be up in that business quickly. I'm really, really hoping that it, the update for Calling All Heroes on the PS4 falls on, on my day off. Or, uh, ideally, right before my day's off, maybe. I'm off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. A Tuesday night, Wednesday morning patch would be wonderful. <laughs> now, I know that gets, uh, that is not, <laughs> that's not typical. <laughs> All right, so we got bads over in that far lane, and like I said, that one is the one that always makes me a little nervous, so... 
Yeah, no need to be, I guess. These guys got rolled. And a bugged flyer. These flyers have been bugged up there all day. Every time I've done this map today, it's had uh, bugged up flyers on it. Very nice. The amount of DPS these archers put out is ridiculous. Just with the second upgrade there, I'm at 90,000 damage per second. 56,472 per hit. Wow. Youch. Now, I haven't uh, maximized the character even remotely. I've just taken anything that dropped that had, uh, had ar bonus archer damage on it. <laughs> without uh, concerning myself with crit or crit damage or anything anything at all, really. Let's see now. Nine hundred. So I can do nine single unit ups. Let's get Get all those guys up, and that gives me four more. I'll just spread these ones out. There we go, wave five incoming. <laughs> uh, Dragalich combined with those archers is stupid, ridiculous OP. Just absolutely insane how fast stuff burns. Definitely got to stay... Uh, this is another one of those maps where, as you can see how fast I'm running, I'm using the, the run speed spheres. But this is a map that you really need to get around a little bit. So the run speed spheres are definitely a good thing. These guys are just bad boys. Now, uh, next week, they're supposed to be announcing the date that the EV drops. And that's just awesome. I hope... I hope it's what I want it to be. <laughs> Oop, all right. See, now we got Ogre over here. He'll burn really quick. I should have waited the... Well, that doesn't matter. But I am going to need to up that thing there. Up that bay boy. A little repair action. Oh! Got smoked. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. And this is a time where I really needed some repairs on there. Damn it. Oh, come on, come on. Ooh, these flyers are getting in quick here. Getting in close like. Get in one of these. All these Serenity R's and I'm... I almost stopped to heal myself. <laughs> All right, so we had a close call over there, but nothing too bad. These guys are just going to melt, so I'm just going to come attend to this. Stray bugged flyer here. Maybe. No. He doesn't want to take any... Oh, there we go. I was going to say he doesn't want to take any damage, but... Just going to go straight along the row here. Oops. Got to double up on that one. 
And I think everything, all the archers have their second upgrade now. Looks like it. Alright, wave six incoming. Ba boom. See ya, select Kellyon. All right, we've got bugged archers over on the left, or bugged flyers. Looks like one is going to sneak through. Ooh, a couple of them came through there. And then we got some dive bombers on this side. Piece of cake. This, uh, this map... A lot of people don't do it, I think, because it takes a little while. But I have really good luck on this map. I get lots of drops. Uh, makes pretty, you know, it's a decent gold grinder. Now, obviously, it's not a gold farming map, but if you're, you know, you do collect a decent amount just for running the map with uh, all the junk drops you get. Looks like nothing, uh, nothing standing a chance over on this side. Don't have enough to upgrade that other lightning R yet. Yeah, nothing standing a chance over here either. So, what can I say? All the stink about the Abyss Lord is true. <laughs> it is ridiculously OP. to get these yeah, everything just melted over on the other side Definitely the uh, the Abyss Lord makes soloing very very easy again, and um, you know obviously it's time for a uh, you know with 750 item power gear coming, it's time for a uh, a bumped up difficulty. Let's see, I am not gonna let that guy get up on me this time. Oh yeah, drag a lich with all those archers spraying into him. It is over. One more plaguing hawk over on this side. Now, when you do do this run, make sure you're not shooting at the ogres from right here. <laughs> they do their little ogre stomp thing. The crystal is right there, so uh, your game will be over. <laughs> Up right there. Hmm. I guess let's just go with the big three right here. Those guys are working hard. Wave seven, here we go. Now, like I said, I've uh what I've been doing is switching now. Obviously, I just proved that on that Harbinger map. I or was yeah the Harbinger map. I for some reason I had it in my head that the all the items in the chest were going to be for the character that you have out, and that's not necessarily true. Now I have gotten a lot of gear for the uh, 
the Abyss Lord here doing that, but I don't think it's necessary. I think I may be getting all that gear out of the chest just because just because I have three Abyss Lords in my deck. That's got to have something to do with it. Let's see, three ogres. I don't think that ogre will make it too far. Come on, ogre. Die now. Okay, are these guys coming in? It's like that one might be. Ah, those ogres are getting too close. Ooh. Oh. No problem. Here's a headpiece. 10%. Oh, yes. I will be equipping that. Item power 702. I will be equipping that the second I get out of this map. Oop. Uh, my glee may be short lived. Oh no. Luckily, it's wave 7. Let's see if I can just keep these guys up, just keep this lane alive. I guess it doesn't even matter. If it doesn't matter if this gets beat down now. Let's see a hundred and fifty ish left. Come on. Yeah, he doesn't want to come and play. That's an awesome headpiece though for my Abyss Lord. Hell yes. Go ahead and loot it just in case I get DC'd or something silly happens. So, yeah, anyway, what I'd been doing is when I get to about this point of the last wave, just switching over and using uh, the Abyss Lord to just finish out. Finish out the rest of the wave, but I, like I said, I don't believe that that is necessary. But you know how it is. Once you get something in your head, even if it's wrong, you end up doing it anyway. <laughs> Nothing but little bads left. So, not too worried here. Come on now. Give me the fat loops. There we go. Come on, four per second bow. Let's have it. Don't fuck around with me. Just stick it in the box. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, another headpiece. And the monk weapon. Ugh. I have sold so many of those monk weapons. What's this head? Let's see. Me. Me. But I got that other piece. Now I don't. Now the ten percent, of course, is an upgrade. I know I don't have ten percent on it. I've only got the ten on one piece. But let me take a peek here. See, what am I looking for? I'm looking for boots. I need a nice boot upgrade. Let's see. There it is. I lose 4%. 